What a treat today. Talking to Nikki Miller from Cake and Loaf Bakery in Hamilton with their brand new cookbook. Mm -hmm. So the first one was kind of a basics. Here's what to do. This one is a gold mine because it has your secret recipes. Yes, so we have filled this book up with a collection of our sweet and savory recipes. The last cookbook was pretty much all sweet. And we go through all the seasons as well as holidays throughout the year touching base on like Valentine's Day, Halloween, New Year's, and uh, pretty much set you up to plan and get gain confidence in throwing gatherings. Okay, and there's gonna be a big gathering around this, <laughs> this platter in particular because the, uh, <laughs> the cream egg brownies are, you started that. Yes, so we created this back in 2014 and it absolutely blew up. We had no idea what to expect. I when that first year, I was literally taking pans, chopping them up and like handing them to customers immediately out the door. Uh, super exciting. Definitely uh, okay. one for a great memory for that one. Okay, and, and you're gonna get people to, to show them how to make it. It's not gonna be as good as yours though. I mean, we're so happy to inspire people and we're interested to see what yeah, people create. What people make, yeah, yeah okay. definitely. All right, what are we gonna make today? Yeah, so this is our sugar cookie dough um, recipe um, with a bunch of additives. It's um, kind of like a Dunkaroo. So I don't know if you remember Dunkaroo. Oh, yes. I definitely never had them in my lunch um, and I always tried to trade them, but I guess nobody wanted my wagon wheels. So it was really upsetting, but now I can have them anytime <laughs> I want, so I'm really excited. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna add some little toppings and candies so you can really play with this and suit it to whatever holiday or season you want. Okay. I mean you could do like the pecans and do like a pumpkin kind of spice dip. Okay. You could add like the score bits. Um, even if you were doing like a cookie monster theme you could tint the icing blue, do just chocolate chunk. Yeah really versatile. I'm going to go for the score bits. Go for it. So, so um, am I going to put, so we've got the dough here. Mm -hmm. So this is our dough. I'm going to do it on the counter just to show you that, but you can keep it in the bowl and okay. choose one of these. And so I'm going to put the whole thing yes, in? Yes, so it's about a half a cup. Oh, oh hello. I'm going to go for the pecan because I really like some of that. So we're going to scrunch it in there. Okay. You want to get it really nicely mixed. Get in there. It's a really versatile dough, um, really simple. And it's not greasy. No, not at all. It's best to actually um, do this immediately after mixing. Okay. Um, for TV, I mean, I brought I brought the dough already mixed, but it's quite easy to handle. Tim is in here to take some video and pictures. <laughs> He's also here for the treats afterwards. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what you're here for. Okay, so right, it's, all mixed in. It's mixed in. All right. So now we're gonna roll it. Um, I my rule of thumb with this is always start with the shape you want it to be in the end. Okay. So we're gonna take a little bit of flour just so it doesn't stick. Oh, and mine's sticking already, <laughs> okay. I'll give you a little bit there. Thank you. Pop that in. So we wanna make this into a, a rectangle. So get you to just kind of form it into that. And then we're gonna use our rolling pin right over there. Okay. Now do you dust your, your rolling pin as well? I usually just dust the dough okay. on top. Oh, and all right. while you're rolling, just always kind of turn it around, make sure it's not sticking. Okay. And if it is, you can always use like a bench scraper to lift it up and then put some more flour down. This is a good hefty rolling pin. Marble is great. It's very cool to okay, the touch. Mine's starting to yeah, fall so we're gonna right there. Yeah, you're doing well. And then my trick is to grab a ruler or a bench scraper. Okay. And you can go in and use the edge to flatten it on the sides. Ah. And that's how you kind of keep that rectangular shape. And we always try to avoid waste. So we really wanted to make sure we used up all the dough. So that's why we went for a square A shape. square cookie. And Instead easier like for dunking. Yeah, easier for dunking, more cookie, more surface level for the icing. So there you go. What a Very great nice. tip. So you do want it to be about a quarter inch thick. So okay. you don't have too much of a is thick that, cookie. Is that about it? That's pretty good actually. Okay. And All the book right. is out now. It's available at the store. Um, actually, next Tuesday is our release date. Oh, oh, oh yeah. a sneak peek. Yeah, so you'll, you can find that in our bakery okay. as well as your local, local bookstore. All right, so we have rolled it all. Um, you're going to grab your... Um, handy wheel. Okay. And I mean, you could use a ruler and actually measure all these pieces, but I like eyeballing it. So okay. we're going to do a half and then cut your half in half. In half. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same on the side. I might do three here. 
You can really okay. just, just All right, play we've got to go everything. now, but uh, we'll have the details up on our website, chch.com. Oh, and it's time to eat. <laughs> now comes Tim. Green egg brownie time.